Two men are around town selling magazines to raise money. They claim to be starting a business or competing in a scholarship competition, but it's all a scam. Good evening and thanks for joining us. You might want to be careful next time you answer your door. Recently, there have been at least three reported magazine scams around campus. Brandon Marshall talked with two students about what happened when they heard a knock on their door. Imagine you're having dinner and after you hear a knock on the door, you answer it. And two people are telling you that they are a part of a competition and that they're selling magazines around the area. Interested, you invite them into your apartment to hear more information. This is what happened to Elon Jr. just married Jordan and her two apartment mates before they realized they were all being scammed. He was very like very fast talking, like very practiced approach, practice delivery, it was very clean, and um, but it was just very quick. Even with a quick delivery, the two sellers spent about 30 minutes inside. Uneasy, yet still wanting to help, Jordan paid for the magazines with checks instead of cash. There are checks from a bank account that have been closed for three years. So good luck getting money out of that. Jordan called campus police once the two people left. The officer who responded saw one of the sellers in the parking lot. The officer gave him a warning because he did not have a permit. The seller then left the Crest Apartments and later that night approached residents here at College Station. And he continued to tell me that he was a Boy Scout. It was a boys versus girls competition and that if he got enough points, he would get a scholarship to win a free trip to Italy. Elon senior Rachel Berman gave the man $100 after she subscribed to the Rolling Stones and Self magazine. When the guy left, Berman went online to check out the website that he mentioned. It looked okay at first. So I looked up that company again and put, typed in scam next to it in Google. And hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of entries came up. Berman says she called police in order to make sure that this doesn't happen to anyone else. Until the magazines don't arrive, no real crime has occurred. It's, it's really not a fraud at this point. Not fraud, but Berman is still out of $100. Brandon Marshall, Phoenix 14 News. The investigation is still ongoing.